Hi friends, uh, good morning. Just teaching you basic interpretation of MRI for adenomyosis as practicing gynecologist. A disclaimer, reporting has to be done by a radiologist only, but when we are practicing gynecs, we should know how to interpret this MRI so that we can give correct guidance to our patients. So you can see this is the sagittal plane. Now the sagittal plane is one of the best planes for us to evaluate. If I look very closely, the endometrium is very good. So that means the endometrial myometrial junction is maintained, which is a positive point for the patient. You can see the anterior wall thickness is so less, but the posterior wall thickness is so huge. This patient is having extreme pain in the abdomen and three IVF cycles failed. At this size of the uterus, we completely understand that majority of the clinics don't have the facilities to do surgeries. As a result of this, they need to call patients from outside and surgeons from outside. In that situation, because they don't operate, they are going to offer you lupride injections. This injection will cause a temporary size reduction, but it will not treat the adenomyosis. For such a large adenomyosis, even if you do an embryo transfer, success rate will be less than 15%. These patients are the ones who require surgery, either with microwave ablation or with adenomyomectomy by an expert. Once done, the patient has to wait for three months. The EMJ will be fine and the bulk of adenomyosis will go down and then the patient will become pregnant.